Now this one is, you can't sell something you don't believe in. Now I wanted to tell a little bit of story to start with. It, 10 years ago when I started, and I was with Ray White, I used to talk about big ad sell and sell big ads. And I had no idea about print and how much it was and all the rest. But it wasn't until I went out with some of the key agents and saw what they were doing and saw what they were getting in print, as well as the results they were getting from open homes and results from there, that I went, you know what? This makes sense. I believe in this. Yep. And then went out and did it. And then went out and asked for the money and got it and went, holy crap. And then went through and yep. did actually get more people through open homes and did get better results for them. So you talk about that. You can't sell something you don't believe in. So, But if you haven't tried it, how do you believe in it? That's ex exactly right. And I probably couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> the um, What you find is you haven't tried something, you don't believe in it, you don't have the conviction, you don't have a story. So you don't even put it on the table when you're going out for that listing presentation. You e go, oh. Exactly right. But then you see someone, you see the result, you see the proof, yeah. you see the evidence, and it's there, and you can talk to it, and you know it to be true. Yeah. So you believe in it. But that's a hard one. So you've really got to try to go out with someone, either get in touch with you guys, yep. as far as to get some of the other stories to, to understand if yep. you're fairly new, or get out with some people that are already doing it and attend what they do, Correct. and then learn from that. Great, if you align yourself with one of their lead agents and in watch watch what they yep. do, um, as, as you said, you are the sum of the five people you spend your most time yep. with. Yep. Um, very, very true. There's some great points. Cheers.